I have bigger games planned for the rest of the week. It's our final week, by the way, of spooky games. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year I'll let since him talk. I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Probably, it's a horror game. Hello everybody, my name is Wolves Bane. Welcome to Faith Chapter 1. Uh, Chapter 3 recently came out, so I thought that we could just play them all. Because I think Chapter 3 is the final one. Let's we'll just get right into it. Okay. Let's save file, I don't have one. Turn it out for myself. It should be fine for you. Dun 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 So I'm a priest, right? Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Escape key? Oh. Alright. Bum 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 ba 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 da 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 What was that? Um... I have the body of a what now? Oh, what's this? What is this? Okay, whatever. Sorry about the weird start, guys. Oh, a demon! My favorite. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. Okay. A deer. Are you a demon? Demon deer. Down one, and then we'll just go this way. You dumb thing. A uh, demon tree! My favorite kind of tree. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree it looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her voluntary volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's a good thing that she found something she's passionate about. I thought she was saying possessive. But I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Okay. What was that? Hey. What is this? The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult just to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. <coughs> Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that the having the facility present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. But are those words supposed to make sense? 
It seems like someone translated that from a different language. Oh, children again. Okay. What's that? Bones, I think. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have stored have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Ah. That's the coyote, I'm guessing. Oh, we're back at the house. Spooky. Oh, this is the shed. You suck. Making my arms stand up. Like, or right, my hair. Father Garcia, you are hereby invest instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to home to their home to discuss compensation. In return for their discretion, you will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Grifford. Oh! Is that what that white thing is? Oh. Ah. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Hmm. Our office had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones were written in a language that we cannot identify. Um, I sent the gravestone rubbing to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. A well. Oh, a demon well. My favorite kind of well. Ring girl well. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's 6th birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m., 4 p.m. Directions turn right at 133 Snake Meadow, Hill Road, and go straight past the well. Straight past the well! Unless it meant go right past the well. Like, go to the right. Ah. Oh, it did not. There was something at the door. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Achievement unlocked. Take me home. Leave my jacket here. What's this? Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic, in a chair perfectly calm, staring at us. It, it is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. So, like a... Like a possessed girl kind of thing. I'm guessing she was the one doing the nurse thing. That makes sense. Oh! The picture has a ghost in it. Oh. Why did I need to do that? Why can't I just look at the picture? Whatever. Is this a ghost plant? Spooky plant? 
Spook point. Spook point. Spook point. Okay, whatever. Is this a ghost carpet? Is this gonna be as confusing as the forest? Oh, mirror. Oh, uh, there's a demon behind me. Can I... Does this work like this? I don't know how crucifixes work. Why is it so quiet now? Is E gonna do anything? I, I think space is the only thing you can press. What a gigantic bed. Lucky. I have a queen size. <laughs> you just sleep on a twin size. The feet were starting to hang over the side of the bed, so I had to replace it. Is the TV evil? No. How about the couch? No. How about this chair? No. How about this plant? How about this picture? This clock? How about this lamp? No. Well, I'm going to guess it's the things that are in color, which would make sense. Ah, Nate. Who's Nate? One of the twins, I'm guessing. He has a friend. He's got a cool demon buddy. Don't be rude about it. What is this? What is this? The Heart of Dimbala from the Chucky series? Well, there's a down, and then there's an up. It said she was up there, so we're going to go up there. Ah, yes. The bloody closet door. I have one of those myself. Why is it so quiet? I turned up my volume, but nothing's happening. I think I killed it. Oh, I can't go in. Okay. The rubber ducky. Please tell me the rubber... It's possessed. The rubber ducky was possessed. I love that. <laughs> I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I just don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Ghost toilet? No. I'm going to take a poo. Um, so ghost bathtub. It's cool, I guess. What's in here? Is this her room? Ghost... Ghost doll? Maybe? Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She, seemed, she looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Maybe seeing the baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. How old is this kid? I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got there, I was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me when I first met her downstairs. Okay. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name. In other instances, she spoke perfect Latin. I called for help, but the others... I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began to write again. Um... Is this an exorcist thing? Because didn't, wasn't the whole thing about um, Regan from The Exorcist that she got a doll from her dad or whatever? And it was Pazuzu's statue? 
I don't remember. Are all these demons? Which ones are demons? Which ones are demons? Simon says a demon. How about the etch a sketch? Huh. This is the twins room then, I guess. Kinda has to be. Why is it so quiet? Did I run out the audio by accident? Treadmill ghost? No, no treadmill ghost. Did I run up the audio? Like, did I make the music stop somehow? I probably did. It's fine. I'm fine talking. I enjoy talking. I'm guessing these are the car keys. E? Can I... No. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got a key. Was it the key of the house? I still have the key. I don't know. Okay, time to go in the basement. My favorite part of every video game. Why is it so quiet? What's in here? Whoa. It's a little rainy down here, guys. This looks like my basement. And you all see my basement. Because, well, I hope you have. Gremlin Boy Dude did really good. Baby Crib. Okay. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what the weirdest thing I've seen as a miss missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of talk folks practicing Quimbaba. It's what you call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. I already knew that. Um... Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. We asked him if he'd ever prayed. He said no, but I prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God would make him free. Feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Layton. Whoever Layton is. Is there a demon washing machine? Satan's appliances and clothes basket? Ah. Yes, my favorite. Mannequin ghosts. I literally stopped playing a game about a mannequin because it sucks so bad. None of them. Okay. Wait. The sewing machine is lit up. No. Really. None of them. Okay. Unless there's more down this way. Well, I'm going to read this first. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Miss Martin's was hysterical, and the thing was inside Amy was feeding off of her fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back in the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down which, with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down there in the basement. So I went down to check on all on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Bah. Who? Demon? Demon! Be gone! Hello? Crucifix! 
Crucifix! Crucifix! Where? Where? Do I have to find something? My eyes. My eyes. What about it? You're too late. Ba um, attic. Oh, she flashes longer than the other ones do. Okay. I have to find a key, I think. Is that that's locked? Suck. Oh, the demon's not behind me anymore. My eyes. My eyes. Foolish. Foolish. What? Are these the car keys? You're too late. You're too late. How do I get it? Do I leave? Or do I go to the basement again? Leave now. Not gonna happen. Chachi. You heard a door open upstairs. Okay. We're gonna go around this way first, though. I'm guessing it's the attic. Did I just have to chase her off long enough? I did, because she's not here. The sounds are gone. There's something over this way, was there not? Oh, this table's blocking it, isn't it? Whatever. Okay. Is the mannequin now going to be haunted? I mean, you could probably put demons in stuff after... Afterwards. Okay, nope. None of them are haunted. At all. Uh, she's gone. So that, that was fun. Interesting, but fun. You had to pay attention really well. With my eyes burning from that sandwich I ate, it was kind of difficult, but uh, not that difficult in other words. Heard something upstairs, so let's just get upstairs. You said a door? So... Yup. Terrified to see what's up here. Ah, a note. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you what their version of ha happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year, a year ago, I was invited to, in... Uh, a year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She... Blanked my superior something father with blank. When I confronted her, she managed to cut the power at the house and do something to her own parents with their own. Ugh. I have to go back to the house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John, is that me? Oh, she drew a little smiley face on it. Stop that. Power of course compels you. My God, what, what happened, happened to you? you? Do you think my face is pretty? Probably not. I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Uh. Uh. Be gone, thought.
Reminds me of crosses for hands. Oh! Oh, your face is gone! I don't like your no face, Chachi. Oh, I can move. Got him. Haha. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. Focusing like the devil right now. Got him. Ugh, it's a third hand. No, don't make me do that again. Okay, good. Third hand. And then she goes here first. And then she goes over there first. Second. And then she goes over there. Then up there. Come on. Oh, I did it. Oh, she jumped out a window. Interesting. Why'd she leave an eyeball? Are those her eyes? Well, that was difficult. Kill her. Well, I'm not going to do that. Can I shoot the mirror? There was a gun on the floor, right? I'm not gonna kill her. Oh! Kill her. Kill her. In reverse. Ah! Uh, if I were to put that in a mirror... Oh, am I getting a secret? A gun with one bullet. The gun with one bullet. I just shot the bullet. Idiot. A gun with, with one, one bullet. bullet. Yeah, I know. I'm getting a secret, big guy. I'm gonna shoot the mirror. Ooh. So instead of killing her, I'm gonna kill something else, I'm guessing. Bam! Demon! Ah, boss fight. Boss fight.
boss fight. Are these human bones? How many more have you killed, big guy? Ah! Shattered Faith. October 23rd, 1986. Dear Dr. Miguel Ashland, uh, it has been 30 days since the beginning of the treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Mr. Spinell, who has been patient with me, has helped us understand the applications and has helped me, my friends, a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinell help, with Dr. Spinell's help, I have come to what really happened on September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her domestic dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I'm happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I will now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since first coming here, I respectfully, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute. Contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinell in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. No more reflection. So, people called me crazy. I still got the gun. What's going to happen? Oh, the graves. The trees have grown. There are a lot more trees now. I should double hand it. Get my crucifix and my gun. Well, I'm not going to kill her. The demon wanted me to kill her, so she's not the bad guy. Is this a path? It is. Who are you? <laughs> Who is that? Who was that? I killed the mirror entity, whatever it was. The well. The trees have all grown back. Am I actually crazy? What's this way? Ready Blood X. Weird. Who was that, by the way? There was a dude in black. Looked like one of the demons. Gun wielding maniac with a crucifix walking through the woods. Hey, wait. What was this? Could I shoot the deer? the deer. Why did I do this? Well, I guess I can leave now. Goodbye. Oh, wait, where's the white thing? In my car. I will say of the Lord. He okay. is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Oh, the deer killed me.
demon deers? Come on, buddy, get it. Four or five, the hunter. Unidentified body was covered or discovered near the wrecking car. A wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of the silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably done by coyotes. Police also noted that the parts of a clean white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 15 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. I got stuff. Well, we're going to take the gun. Oh, I got it. Oh, get wrecked. I will say I was just going to shoot it. All right. Do I actually get to go home this time? Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Indeed. Therefore will he deliver me. I'm not a Catholic. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Cool. When faith endures. Nice, man. Nice. Police, animal experts, investigate a chupacabra remaining found in near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by motorists yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered their remains told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, the police concluded that the remains were some kind of an animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about exactly what we're dealing with here, said a sterling police spokesman. It's clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal they had been found, although they com commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D efficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Nice. It looked like a body, I guess. Okay, I don't think we have to listen to this a third time. Oh, yeah. We're a murderer. Yep. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Polyma was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When, get, when questioned, Ward reportedly said, I killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside of her. 
Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near an abandoned Martin home. In addition to the receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article was missing. Just some, of some kind. There we go. So, it's gonna be different. Oh! <gasps> White thing! Father and son. Esteemed Cardinal Grifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing with young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let, let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There's another reason why I'm not... Why well, I dare not return Michael to his family nor let them see him. The darkness inside of him licks his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I've enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Alright, let's leave. Last ending. What's gonna happen? Um, what are you? Oh, no. The offering. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people not to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. That's horrible. Don't take that advice. That's terrible. Never, ever take that advice from anybody. They're trying to either kidnap you or get something else from you. We're having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of our team, even if your mom and dad are not. We hope to see you there, Gary. Alright, that was Faith Chapter 1, everybody. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!